Hello everyone, I'm the Criminal Archer, and welcome to Stellar Overload. Now this game um, is a Minecraft butt. Is that what we're calling them? I think that's what we're calling them. It's a voxel-based uh, crafting, but also uh, adventuring game. Uh, it used to be called Planets Cubed. You can see it up here, Planets Cubed. Uh, but they changed the name. It's now Stellar Overload. It's still in a pretty early level of the alpha, um, but they've let me play the game. So we're going to just dump right in. Um, I've put about a half... Start a new universe here and call it uh, YouTube. Um, I put about a half an hour in just to get a basic idea of how the game works, but we're going to be discovering a lot of this together. So we've got three options. We can play basically a story, um, a story mode, or two creative modes. I'm going to stick to the story mode rather than the creative modes, uh, just just to see. So we're going to dive in here and, and see what we see. Um, still figuring things out, the crafting system and such takes a little bit of a a little bit of experimentation I think to really get the feel for it so we'll just wait till we're in here uh, basically what this is telling me is is that uh, we are a secret spy and we stole some plans but then the plans were stolen from us by some sort of weird nanotech machinery thingies uh, so we're uh, we're ready to go and try and find them I uh, suddenly don't have any sound. Um, but, uh... So that's something we need to figure out. Hang on. Where's my sound? Like I said, this is an early, uh... Early alpha, so... You can expect some, some bits and pieces to not be working quite right. I'm gonna jump out and jump back in. And uh, hopefully we'll have some sound. All right, so um, I couldn't fix the sound. Maybe it'll fix itself as we go along. So basically, this guy's basically just telling us this is like a secret hidden base area. Um, this is the crafter. This is how we build things. Um, so we can build some energy cells. They're used for some of the weapons. Uh, it takes gemstones and alloys. We've got a plasma gun, which takes nanites and polymer composite materials. A block thrower, block thrower level two, which takes some some things here. What is this? Polymers, alloys. Um, I will of course explain all this as we go along, uh, but we're just gonna just look in a little bit. Workshop doesn't have anything in it, so. Um, one of the things that happens in this game is, is that the various building materials are tiered. So you've got two basic tools. You've got this one that I have open right now, which is called a block thrower. You can see it, it it's like a basic weapon. You can just basically throw blocks at things. Um, then you've got the like block grabber. You can see I'm grabbing stuff. Um, it really bothers me that I don't have any sound, but well, well what are we going to do? And it also will let you tell no more things about the, bro the block. So you can see, like, this says red dirt. It's common. It's in the dirt family, not surprisingly. You can hold up to 9,000, 900,999, 900, and what, et cetera. Um, and it's tier one. So there are different tiers of items. And so this, uh, and, you have to upgrade your equipment, like I need a block, uh, a better glove to get tier 2 or tier 3 equipment. That sort of thing. Um, so let's see what this thing is. This thing is the processing unit. You can turn raw materials into other things. So we can turn charcoal, limestone, coal, or crude oil into straight up carbon. Turn some wood into charcoal. You know, same kind of stuff. Uh, they start us with a few things. We've got uh, dirt. We've got our block thrower Mark One, which is, and our digging gauntlet Mark One. Got some fluorite and some red sandstone. This, I believe, is a yes. This is a um, storage thing. I'm just going to take it all here. Why not? Can't think of any good reason. We'll put take the fruit juice. That's some health things. Berries, I think, are also health. 
And we have some med kits, which are emergency health. And then we're going to get out of here. I don't really know what these are. Uh, okay. So we head up these stairs. The stairs are a little steeper than I'm used to. So I, the first time I did this, I was like, oh, what's happening? But yeah, it's just stairs. Come up here. Um, and then you can do things with food. That's what this lady's doing is food stuff. Uh, so we can make some fruit juice out of berries. Oh, let's, let's actually do that. Make some, craft some water out of water. <laughs> make water out of water. So let's, uh, let's make some more fruit juice. Do, uh, we have 50 of these. Let's make, uh, let's make 10 of them. That do it? Or do I have to wait? That seems to have done it. Okay. Cool. Um, I like that. It doesn't make you wait on it. I really don't like it when games make you wait on their, uh, the crafting stuff. So we're going to just head on out here. So the goal is to go wherever that light is over there. Secret plan, see? 1.4 kilometers. Uh, this lady is just basically telling us a little bit more about what's going on. But I'm not actually going to go over there because I tried to go over there before and I got my butt kicked. So we're going to hang around in this area and, and explore a little bit. You can see the game is very pretty. Got a nice cubicle sun. Got some nice nice clouds in the sky. Nice, I guess that's a cube moon up there? I don't know. What about, let's get this thing out. We got some agave cactus. Let's take that. Um, some sort of animal. Who's this? Is a, a bunny rabbit? Nope, it's like a coyote. Um, different sections are also tiered. So like if you look at the top of the screen it says Roke Camp T1. And that means tier one. It's a tier one camp, which means that basically everything we find in this area is going to be tier one. Um, what's this? Sand? Oh, hello, sir. What do you have to say? Machines will prevail. Resistance is futile. That's the spirit. See, now this is a tier two rock. White granite. So we can't pick it up. Limestone we can pick up, though. Um, this do, this game also does have caving systems, just like uh, some other block voxel type games. Let's see what this guy has to say. Hello, scientist. If you roam the land, you will probably stumble upon robot carcasses. I suspect they were operating long ago. Looks like they were programmed to repair the ecosystem. Strange, isn't it? Anyway, you may find some invaluable data to download. Okay, thank you for that. So I don't really know what the deal is with the scientists standing around, but cobalt all or tier two stuff. And this is a cave. So let's go down in the cave, shall we? Now the problem with the cave is that a lot of the cave stuff is going to be tier two, or maybe not. The last cave I found when I was messing around was almost all tier two stuff. Uh, we should turn our light on. We just have a basic light. I don't know if you have if they do have torches or anything like uh, like some other games, but. So yeah, you can see that there's some platinum ore that's tier three stuff. This rock is tier two. I don't know if these if any of these gemstones will be things I can carry or not. Tier two, yeah. Tier two. And I can't get uh, 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 squeeze through. Oh, squeeze through. Okay. And squeeze through. All right. I'm looking for some tier one. I want some tier one. Oh, fluorite. There we go. It's all rolling away from me. Agate, that's tier one. This is more tier one. Tier one stuff. I really, 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 really bothers me that we don't have sound. And I'm sorry about that. Um, the nature of alphas. I think it might, I think it might be somewhat be the recording software interacting with it. There's also the small but real possibility that I will, uh, Go into editing this after the after I'm done recording, and the sound will be there. But Amazonite, all right. So we could keep going down, which is a tempting option, but stuff's just going to get higher tier the deeper I go. So we should probably head back up. And I I wonder if we can craft anything with the junk that we have at this point. 
I would love to get uh, a tier two gauntlet so that we can actually, you know, get some of this stuff. Like, but we'll see if that can even happen. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. There we go. Come on. Let's go. I want to climb. It's hard to tell. I'm not used to the to the size of the steepness of things yet, so I'm not sure exactly what can be climbed and what can't. All right, we're out here again. Oh, so arid desert. We were in a tier two zone. That's what the problem was. All right. Why does rope camp now say tier two? Oh, now it's tier one. I guess maybe you've got different sections. I don't know. So let's see what we can make. Shall we? Uh, well, let's turn our light off. I was like, why does everything look washed out all of a sudden? It's because the light was on. There's also a bunch of rocks up here, which I assume we can take, right? No, because they're all tier two stuff. Oh, no, opal, agate, pearl, agate. Let's take it. Uh, nanites. All right, let's go see. We take fire. Can't take fire. <laughs> Good to know. Let's head downstairs and see if there's anything we can do with the stuff we have. All right, so what do we need? If we want to make, if we want to make a digging gauntlet, diameter. How do I know which tier two enhanced digging gauntlet I need? Alloys. I need 30 alloys. It's like bronze or electrum. I need some polymers. And I need gemstones. The only thing I have already is gemstones. So I need to find some polymers. Let's see if we can make polymers out of anything. Do we want to make some carbon? Some gas? Can't make any polymers out of anything, but let's uh glow blocks. Huh. Oh wait, natural polymer. Can do that out of wood. Make some glass out of sand. Let's make some gas. Make some carbon. Actually we're good on carbon. Let's make some iron, shall we? Okay. Aluminum? We don't have any aluminum. Copper? We don't have any copper. Bronze? We can make some steel. We cannot make bronze. Make some glass. We can make some glow blocks. Actually, we can't make any glow blocks. We're missing glass. We can, oh, well, that's easy enough to fix. Let's make some glow blocks, I guess, are, are like torches. This game's version of torches. Okay. We can make one. One glow block. <laughs> I don't know. Just goofing around here. Alright. So let's see. What are these portraits? Mick, odd job, 007. Yo, casta o. Cogito ergo sum. I think, therefore I am. Big block theory. Alright. All right, so can't do anything with that. Is there anything else we can build that we didn't before? Workshops. Can't do that. Weapons. Nanites. We actually have some. Plasma gun. We need uh, polymers. All right, so we need polymers, which I think we need means we need wood. So let's go get some wood. Oh, can't get out this way. Gotta go out this way. I see some trees. Trees are good for wood. Most of the time. There is some popping, but you know, early days yet. Early days. Some leaves. Alright. And you just kinda put the put the pedal down and just go for it. Seems to be. The trees don't fall down, you know, Minecraft style. Trees just hang out in the air. Oh, they actually, the, the roots extend underground. That's cool. That's a nice touch. All right. 
So we got a bunch of white birch. I want to get some of one of these. I want to get another smallish tree if we can. What is this? Yellow dandelion. White granite. It's a tree. Grassland bush. Oh, berries. Hello, Mr. Peacock. That's pretty cool. You can't seem to, you can you can hurt them, but you can't like grab them or anything. In case you were wondering, we could shoot blocks at them until they die. But that seems mean. All right, let's talk to this weird dude over here. What is that? Unknown structure. We should go look at that actually. Speak to you. You can't beat us. Connect to us, Agent Smith. Oh, that's a nice, uh, nice little uh, joke there. All right, so we got a another fissure in the ground right there. Let's go check out this unknown structure. Last time, when I was playing by myself earlier, the unknown structure had uh, had some bad guys around it. So, and they pretty much wrecked my day. Let's go a little faster. 2.6k to what? North Pole. North Pole's underground. The um, the media for this game what is that? Lithium ore. Huh? Um, indicates that the worlds are square and with variable gravity at the edges. Um, oh, there's a bad guy right there. Not hitting him. There we go. Don't shoot me, don't shoot me. Got him. All right. Um, so I'm guessing North Pole is down below underneath us like that for some version of that reason. But I don't really know. So another one of those. Oh, there's two more of those spheres up there. Let's not go tangle with them. Let's start to actually get into this structure. Expect there to be a sphere on this side somewhere. So I'm trying to give it a berth so that I can actually see it when it's time. Right, so this seems like the way in. So what do we got? We got a storage tank here, which has some emerald and some nano ceramic. Whatever that is. Alright, close, please. Thank you. Then I want you. I want you to want me. What is this? Data terminal. Mushroom omelet recipe. <laughs> Found an ancient mushroom omelet recipe in the unknown structure. It's kind of funny. All right, let's go see. I kind of like to wreck to, to kill those um, spheres. Looks like I'm gonna have to now. <laughs> Whoops, I'm hitting that like raccoon or whatever the hell it is. Ow. One thing I think is really neat looking, I'm not, it's not the most practical in the world. Please stop shooting me. Um, but I think it looks, looks really neat. This thing seems to be taking a lot more hits than the last one. Uh, is the heart that's right in the middle of my health bar. Can I use this? Because you can see that it's like, it fills up and and shrinks with the uh, with use of 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 uh, of damage. Kind of neat. What is this? Lithium. For something that's supposed to be rare, I seem to be finding a lot of lithium. All right, so that guy was right up here. Is there anything special about this spot? Natural granite, brown dirt. No, nope, nothing special about it. It's just where he was hanging out, I guess. This game's really pretty. It's like an amphitheater. Oh, oh, those are those are not uh, those are bad guys. Leave me alone. Leave me alone, little guy. Nothing to see here. I don't seem to drop anything. Get him. Man, not having any sound is kind of annoying. All right. 
Yeah, that seems to be... I don't really want to mess with those guys anymore. What do you have to say, Mr. Scientist? Some resources are really, really scarce, but I happen to find more valuable resources in higher tier zones. Yeah, and then it tells me how to tell. Like we're in a tier 3 zone right now. But we know this already. Oh, I'm getting the hell out of here. I don't want to deal with that guy. Screw you. Is that a butterfly? It's a butterfly. Alright. Um, very pretty. I like the colors. It's a very bright and colorful game. What is that? Is that another data terminal? It is. Titanium alloy recipe. Okay. Didn't know those were just going to be sitting in the middle of the middle of the place to be found. All right. Um, yeah, I think that's all for now. Next time, I think maybe I'll look a little closer at like creative mode or something where I can just kind of go go nuts. Um, but that's all for the moment. And I'm the Crumlin Archer. If you enjoyed this, consider leaving me a like. Helps me out a great deal. Consider subscribing if you want to see more in the future, and I will see you guys later. Thanks so much.